Hey guys, what's up? Jake here. And today I thought we'd take a look at the most recent video from the International Fake Station. Oh, excuse me, the International Space Station. This is the most recent footage, the most up-to-date footage that you will find as of today, April 20th, 2022. And as you can see, they've got a lot of people stuffed on screen. Count them, 11 people stuffed on screen. Now this is the newest thing they've been doing lately, is trying to shove as many people as they can on the screen. Now what you may not know is with today's technology, NASA can actually shoot these scenes individually or with just a few of the astronauts together. And then what they can do in post editing is collage all these astronauts together in one scene to make it look like they were all there together floating in the corner of the ISS. When meanwhile, what they really did was have each one or just a few of them shoot their shots individually and then, like I said, because they're in front of a green screen, you can go back and remove all the wires, all the harnesses, and you can crop them all in together. Meanwhile, they didn't even have to be in the same room. These people could have been uh, theoretically in different parts of the world when they shot these scenes. And then through the magic uh, of Hollywood editing, you can stick them all on the same screen. So don't think for a second that all 11 people are actually in the corner of a studio or a room or even the fake station. Uh, you can definitely pull this off nowadays without these people even being in the same room. For instance, check out this guy on the far left. He's in civilian clothing. They didn't even give him a jumpsuit. In this video, he doesn't interact with anyone in the crew. He doesn't do anything except stare straight ahead into the monitor. And then at one point, I think he turns his head sideways for a second or two. And that's all he does in the entire video. So what I'm saying is you could film this guy's segment, have him stare into the monitor for a few minutes. And then in, in post editing, you can edit him into the final shot with all of the other astronauts without him ever having to be there with the rest of the crew at all. So he looks to me like he was stitched in there and he was never there with any of these people and he never interacted with any of them. You don't see him floating in or out of the picture. He's just there staring into the camera the whole time. And so little anomalies like this, I find funny and most sheeple would probably never notice something like this, but these are the things that I key in on. Another anomaly that I noticed that most people probably wouldn't is how perfectly still everyone is able to remain while they're supposedly in constant free fall. You know, the lack of gravity, the floating in the constant free fall, I would imagine that it would be hard to stay perfectly still like that. It's as if they're just standing around on Earth. But no, in the International Space Station, these guys are doing a hell of a job at remaining perfectly still in their positions so they can all remain on the screen. It seems to me, if they were really up there in space, really floating around and free-falling like they say they are, they should all actually be struggling to stay in their spot, all right? They should all be bouncing off of each other. Um, there's no way they should all be able to stay as still as all these people are staying. Now, this video didn't contain uh, the worst screw-ups and glitches that I've ever seen on the ISS, but I did find one glitch, one anomaly that I think you guys might find interesting. And just before it happens, uh, the one astronaut decides to randomly speak some Hebrew. Check this out. I hate that. Thank you all. I'll say a few words in Hebrew. איחרתי לפגישה הזאת כי בדיוק היה מעבר מעל ישראל ועם שמיים בהירים 
אז זה היה כיף גדול לראות את ישראל מצפון עד דרום. עשרה ימים פה היו מיוחדים במינם, כל הצוות, כל מי שרואים פה בתמונה, נתן יד. ואנחנו עזרנו להם בפעילויות שלהם, והשיתוף פעולה הבינלאומי הזה הוא מרשים ומיוחד במינו. למדנו המון, ואני מרגיש כאילו רק התחלתי, ואני מוכן להישאר פה עוד איזה חודש. אז שלום לכולם, וחג שמח. Tom, I'll pass it to you in just a sec, but I just want to uh, echo what everybody said about how gracious and patient Crew 3 has been with us. They've shared their time, their wisdom, their food, their stories. For those of you who missed it, pay very close attention to this guy's collar. Look at these flaps next to his neck. Watch closely. There it was. Did you see it? Did you see those neck flaps move in an unnatural, glitchy sort of manner? Sometimes that's all they give you. And then again, right here, you can see this neck flap grow and expand. That is not natural looking at all. And I'm sure someone like Simon Dan probably has a pathetic and weak excuse for this unnatural phenomenon, and it's probably something along the lines of personal incredulity. The astronauts are in free fall, therefore it caused a pocket of gravity to escape the jumpsuit, causing the neck flaps to move in that sort of manner. Personal incredulity. Now, this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. However, it is the truth, whether you like it or not. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.